Welcome to Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is the first producer of cocoa all around the world and home country to famous soccer player Didier Drogba. Drogba. Decent hit! Oh! Yes! We're known for our vibrant culture, our wonderful dishes, and our beautiful beaches. We share borders with Mali, Burkina Faso, Ghana, and Guinea. We are holding the next African Cup of Nations starting next year in January 2024. Do not miss a chance to come and visit because this place has been one of the safest places to visit here in West Africa. We're currently in Abidjan and Abidjan is the economic capital of Côte d'Ivoire. As we say here, Abidjan est le plus doux au monde, meaning Abidjan is the sweetest in the world. Listen, I feel so ashamed that my neighboring country looks this beautiful and I never knew anything about it. I think you guys can blame me as much as you can because Ivory Coast or Abidjan is not what I expected. Listen, I've traveled across West Africa and I would say that hands down, this is the most developed country in West Africa. The roads. has really impressed me and I'm not even gonna lie to you that this country got one of the best roads that I've seen in the whole of Africa it, listen I, I'm not saying this to make the people of Ivory Coast be so happy but the fact that I'm on my way to Nyamisukro which is more like three hours away from Abidjan and the roads that I'm using is a double lane from Abidjan to Yamusukro. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, if a connectivity of a country works, if the road is better, definitely free movement of people within the country will not be a problem. You know what? Let's all do this, like this video, just to appreciate the people of Ivory Coast. I mean, a big round of applause, man. This is incredible. Wow. The real reason why I travel within Africa is to showcase the beauty of Africa that you all have never seen on TV. But most importantly, to educate you about our own various countries. You've been hearing Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, but do you know the origination of the name? Cote d'Ivoire is Ivory Coast in English because of the ivory trade, the ivory of the elephants. When the Westerners came here, they traded ivory and they named it Ivory Coast because it was on the shores of, the, of Western Africa. So that's why we have Cote d'Ivoire, which is Ivory Coast. As a Ghanaian traveling within this beautiful country, I found so many similarities between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire that made me question the origin of the people of Cote d'Ivoire. I even met people that interacted with me in a common language that we speak in Ghana, which is Tree. And to my surprise, they were Ivorians, thinking that they were Ghanaians. What can you No, No, we are Ghanaian, so we are Ivorians. No, we are Ivorians. Okay. No, we are Ghanaians. What are you Ghanaian? What is Tree? No, we are Ivorians, and we are Ghanaian. I'm a, I'm a Ivorian. Ivorian. Oh wow. Um, is that a quaba? Yes. 
Akwaba means what? What is your tribe in Ghana? I, I'm an Akan. Akan. In every cause again, I am Akan. Really? Why? In every cause we have uh, four big group, mm -hmm. but we have sixty-two tribes. First, Akan group. Most of them provide from Ghana. We have similar culture. For example, you use Kente. Yeah. We use Kita. Kita and Kente are similar. Just the name we change. Do you understand? For how? Do you understand? I really I understand. Say? Yeah. Okay. Is why now we use Akwaba again to say welcome. You also say Akwaba, which yes, is welcome. And we have a a place which is not far of the. Uh, from the airport, mm -hmm. which is called Aquaba. Wow! Yes. Do you know uh, the Queen Ablapoku? No. So, let's go back to history. In the 18th century, a queen named Ablapoku was born. She was the niece of the king Osei Tutu, the co founder of the Ashanti Empire in Ghana. When the king died, a succession war broke out. Abla Poku's second brother, who was one of the heirs to the throne, was killed. Fearing for her life and family, Abla Poku fled. She led her people from modern-day Ghana to Ivory Coast around 1770, where she founded the Baolit Nation. It is believed that she sacrificed her son to the river so that her people could cross the river. She arrived in front of a river and she sacrificed her baby and appear a bridge of hippopotamus and the people cross Crossed. over and when she when they finish to cross the bridge disappear and the Ashanti people return and she saved his people is why she called Bauli Bauli which means in Ashanti language my son is dying. Yeah. It's why today we call them Baule. And Baule is the most important group of every coast. Believe me or not, the city of Abidjan really surprised me. My goodness, look at this beauty. I really love how organized Abidjan is. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Look at this long stretch bridge connected the city. The city got wide roads. Listen, very clean city. But do you know where the name Abidjan came from? This place is Place de la République. Okay. Yes, and this is the first place the colonizers see when they came in Abidjan. Oh, okay. So that's yes. like Abidjan, they were colonized by the French. The French, yes. So this is the first place that they came? Yes, when they come in Abidjan. Abidjan is the third capital of Côte d'Ivoire. We have first Grand Bassam, secondly we have uh, Benjamin, third Abidjan. And what, why Abidjan? What, where Abidjan comes from? The name. The name, okay. Yes. The French colonizers, when they arrived in this place, in this place, they saw a woman here. Yes, and she, they asked uh, this woman, "Where are we?" And she understand, "What are you? What are you doing?" And she, she answered, "I'm going to cut leaves in my plantation." And the colonizers, the French, they understand. Here is. Jambi Jam because she said in the local language Jambi Jam. Jambi Jam it means I'm going to cut leaves. Wow. In my plantation. Hence so the name. So they they think ah we are in Jambi Jam so Abidjan. This is where Abidjan comes from. It's the name. name. It's name.
Believe me or not, Cote d'Ivoire got one of the best transportation system that I've seen across my journeys in Africa. The Ivorian BRT is definitely one of the best that I've seen in Africa. The buses look so new, it's affordable, well organized and it's so beautiful to see the buses riding across the city. This is the kind of transportation that we need across the continent and believe me or not, this is incredible man. <laughs> Tell me about the taxis in Ivory Coast. Okay, uh, for the taxis, there are, there are two, two kinds of taxis. Okay. They are the one that's the orange one. Uh -huh. They can go like everywhere in Abidjan. Wow. But uh, sometimes they have, from every city in Abidjan, they have different color. For example, for Yopougon, you have a uh, blue, like sky blue. Okay. And for uh, Ajame, it's like uh, yellow. And when you are in uh, Makori, it's yellow, yellow or green. I don't remember because I'm not, I'm not always in this kind of city. See, so okay. This is why. So, so does it mean that even within Abidjan, yeah, different districts got different kind of taxes? Yeah. Wow. Every district in Abidjan have different colors. Different colors. Even for the the market, the places, everything is different. What What about the buses? Oh, for the buses, it's like everywhere the same color. The same color. You cannot it, is it affordable? Yeah, kind of. It's affordable because when you are talking about taxes, yeah. every district has its taxes. Okay. You just talk about it. But um, when you want to travel, maybe for one place to another place, uh -huh. like the, the less is something like 200 CIFA. Wow. 200 CIFA. But 200 CIFA is not expensive. Okay. It's like small money. Yeah. For the buses, they uh -huh. are between uh, 200 and 500. But 500 is like commonplace money. It's not so expensive. Wow. So we have people traveling from Yopougon to uh, maybe Plateau okay. or Makori. They prefer taking buses because buses will be like something like 500. 500. But if they take taxis, they need to take uh, three taxis. That will be 300. 200, 200 and 300 something like 800 total so they prefer the buses the buses are for the government yeah they're for the government that's incredible man thank you so okay. much for talking to me <laughs>
I'm still here exploring the second capital and also the second largest city in Ivory Coast. Should I say Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire? We have to say Cote d'Ivoire from now on. <laughs> Why not Ivory Coast? Because the president, when you go to, people start translating the language. You know, so when you go to English spoken country, English speaking country, they say Cote d uh, Ivory Coast. And then when you go to Spain, they say Costa de Marfil. Because it's like Coast of Ivory. That's the initial uh, origin of the name. So every language starting translated <laughs> the country name into the languages. So at some point the president says, stop it. We just have to say Cote d'Ivoire. Bienvenue <laughs> la Cote d'Ivoire. Exactly. <laughs> bienvenue en Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, bienvenue en Cote d'Ivoire. You know what? We are at Yamusukrum. Exactly. And uh, where are we right now? This is behind me. This is the best and the biggest university in Cote d'Ivoire. All the smart students after high school, they come here. We have like different uh, university, different departments and faculties inside. The biggest. The biggest. I guess everything, <laughs> everything in Yamusukrum is big and wide based on first impression. Yeah. Number one, the road yes. is wide. I mean, I've traveled across West Africa and this city got one of the widest roads that I've ever seen. And I feel like the city was so planned. Exactly, the city was has been drawn. Yeah, yeah. They drawn the city in the paper before building it because the president wanted like a nice city, an organized city where everyone will feel good. So you see the road, you see the house, you see the everything was planned. That's how they built Abuja. Exactly. But when I came here, I see it's a bit deserted. I am uh, more like. There are not many people here. Yeah, the thing is, people still want to live in Abidjan because they think that there are a lot of things in Abidjan to do because the, the money is, is in Abidjan, the economic capital is Abidjan. So Would you ever stay, stay here? There. I think I'll stay here, but even if I stay here, all my businesses are in Abidjan. So I will need to go to Abidjan <laughs> more often. That's why most people stay in Abidjan, but then they come to Yamsokro during the weekend. You see, Yamsokro is calm, it's greener, so people come to rest and spend good time in family and everything. Second thing is that the biggest church in the world is found here. Exactly. Notre Dame de la Paix in French or Our Lady of Peace in English is here. It's been built by the first president of Côte d'Ivoire, Félix Soufriboigny. Definitely, this is not your everyday Africans that you see on TV. The ones that you see house flies on their faces. See, these are young kids in Africa enjoying themselves, exercising, playing basketball. This is definitely what the media will never show you. And that's why I am here to let you know that this is also Africa. prefer food over women in any country that I go to. Hence, I cannot be in Ivory Coast without trying the most popular dish in this country. Welcome to Ivory Coast, the home of authentic acheke. So this is actually how we eat breakfast here in Abidjan. This is this breakfast. Is, this is breakfast. This is a typical it's, West Africa, it's, it's not only breakfast because we eat it all day. You know, in the morning, at lunch time, for snacks, in the evening, uh, at night time. So this is the most affordable food in, um, in Cote d'Ivoire. Wow! Yeah, it's very affordable with like, let's say, uh, half of a euro, like half dollars you can eat here. Like they say, the fish doesn't cost very much and the acheke also is good. So it's mostly acheke, which is made from cassava. Okay. It's a kind of cassava couscous, only made in Cote d'Ivoire. But then all the Chinese starting, <laughs> all the Chinese starting making them. Only, only made in Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, only made in Cote d'Ivoire so far. So we eat it with tuna fish. I, I've seen so some slices fish. of uh, pepper. Pepper. So then we add we add all the pepper and some vegetables. Wow. We try to put it. So we have the pepper. We eat. You have to eat it with a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. So I hope you guys love pepper. <laughs> this, is a, this is a typical breakfast in Ivory Coast, man. Yeah. Just come along with us, man. Let's let, let's get to see what they eat in Ivory Coast. So, a lot of the things we eat in the morning. 
Yeah, but I love so, the fact that everyone is here, you know, everyone yeah, you see is here so, for the so much before. <laughs> so many That's people so cool. here. When I, when I say Simul, you know what is Simul? I say Minimal. Or when I say Cassava Couscous. Yeah. You guys, you guys don't have rice? No, no, no rice today. We eat a chicken. Wait, what? You eat first. No, I will show you how to eat it. Yeah. You guys are super hungry. Wait for it. So what you do? Hmm? What you do? You take the a chicken. No, let's take the fish first. I'll take a fish first. I'm Actually, good. you have to mix everything together. Take the fish. You put it in that chicken. Oh. It's hot, it's hot, be careful. I put it in my mouth You take already. the vegetables, a lot of paper, and you take everything like this. You see? Hey! You mm see? -hmm. That's it. Okay, so I take <laughs> the fish first. No. Then mm -hmm. I take that chicken. Take everything. Paper. Mm -hmm. Pepper, yes. Not too much with paper. Don't, ah, don't, don't die much. here. <laughs> and then you go for. It's like you're eating yeah, the bowl. whole. Yeah, you have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so how is he? <laughs> He's trying to. I think you took too much paper. <laughs> but the combination is sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's good. So you have to take the combination because if you take only the mm. acheke, the acheke is very bitter. You say you're not going. Uh, it's sour. Yeah. yeah, thank you. It's sour, yeah. so you're not going to feel it. Uh, you, you have to take all the combination to be able to feel it. my stomach is super full it's about time to dance the food off but you all know that Ivory Coast is one of the best places to have fun in Africa if you've heard it that's a good one but listen whenever you want to have fun in Cote d'Ivoire never go to Abidjan neither do you have to go to Yamusukro but this is a secret and you gotta take it from me choose Asini as the place to enjoy whenever you are in Cote d'Ivoire. This is so beautiful, man. It gives me a vibe of Adan in Ghana. You see, this is a lagoon right in front of me. And I love the fact that there are coconuts ahead. So you got a lagoon, the coconuts, and the ocean right over there. That's incredible stuff. This is the Africa that you all have not been seeing on TV. This is one of the best places to, I mean, live your best life. Let me show you something. One of the coolest things I'm seeing in here. You see the, you see the chalet? The chalet is right on top of the water, right? So as soon as you come out of your roof, you just get the view of the what? <laughs> you just get the view of the lagoon. But in case you're a big fan of um, speedboats, my brother, just got your speedboat right here. Have fun in here. Why are you not visiting Ivory Coast yet? What is preventing you? The language should not prevent you. Come and explore this beautiful country, just like the way I'm exploring. Oh my goodness, look at them. Are you guys in Miami? Seems like we are. Are you yeah, in Miami? Yeah, we are, we are. Are you guys in Miami? African Miami. Ah, this is not African Miami. This is the Africa of Miami. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is Miami. I want to say Miami trying to learn from us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this is natural. Bro. Yes. I love it. Yeah, and look we do own. That's it. That's what you need to remember. Move to Ivory 
Lagos now? Yes. After all the countries that you've been to, you decided to settle in this country? Yes, I've been to more than 21 countries in Africa. It's so hard. So can we skip to the good part? Wait! No, 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 no. Bring the beat back. Next time, I'm gonna be 29 so that I can beat you. I say it again. <laughs> I, say it, I say it again for the day it's gonna happen. So you think you're gonna beat me, but I'm a better traveler than you. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, I've been traveling in so many countries in Africa. Yeah. I've started at 18 years old. Mm. With my first country, Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, and the last two years, I've been traveling alone, completely alone, in more than 15 countries. Okay? And I decided to yeah, to live here in Ivory Coast, to live here in Abidjan. Why Abidjan? Because the first thing I realized when I was traveling was mm -hmm. that traveling and living in a country is totally different. For example, you said, you told me one day that your like, best country in Africa is Namibia, right? Exactly. But, I don't know for you, but maybe you, you, you don't see yourself living in Namibia. Okay. It's different, you know, yeah. you, now you live in Accra and you know how it's Accra and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And like my favorite, my top destination in Africa may not be Abidjan. Okay. But living here, uh, it's the perfect place for me. W why you chose to live here? First of all, I'm alone. I'm a solo partner. Abidjan in the fracking fun zone, mm -hmm. to me, is like the number one when you're an entrepreneur because there's so many people creating uh, stuff like creative, um, entrepreneur, uh, rental, um, uh, what, retail, 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 retail business. Yeah, all those stuff. So you meet so many people um, that encourage you to do stuff and that motivating you to do stuff. Yeah. And like I was working in Paris, in La Défense, like big business center in Paris. Okay. And I was in an, um, uh, a company, so I had colleagues. So a lot of a lot other people doing like me. But as a solopreneur, I need other people doing like me in a big area and this is evident to me. And it's different to other capital cities in Africa like like Kotonou or other, I mean, I'm not saying that there are no entrepreneurs over there, mm. but the, the, like, the energy of creating of impacting is where you here in Abidjan. That's why I'm here. How long have you been in Ivory Coast? Um, like uh, three to four years. Three to four Africa. years. Yeah. How's life in Ivory Coast? Oh, life is good. Life is good in Ivory Coast. <laughs> yeah. I, I was shocked to see Ivory Coast this beautiful. Yeah. You know. That's how it is because if you are in Ghana, you don't know it that way. But unless you are here, you know when we are we, Ghana is just here. Ghana is our neighboring country, just close here. But um, when you are talking, no, no one will understand you because it's just here. And you know, Ivory Coast experienced war a few years back, and everyone is aware of it. But you know, after the war, even after the war, you can even see. You check around, you can see. <laughs> Yeah, even after all those very, <laughs> very, you can, very, yeah, you very, can very see the vast difference yeah. can compared to Ghana. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah, life, yes, normal life, uh, 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 it's, it's good, it's good. It's everything. good. Yeah. You're living your best yeah, life in here, man. You're yeah. not coming back to Ghana? Um, I used to go, but I don't stay long. Yeah, I, I, I think I enjoy here more than... <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy, yeah, 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 but you know, that's a fact. That's a fact. Wow. Yeah.